everyone welcome back to my channel so this video is like highly highly requested for beginners anyone who doesn't know anything about step 2 CK prep because they're overwhelmed with resources they don't know what plan I was in your place so I'm gonna show you guys today how to prepare for step 2 CK during the shelves during your rotations as well as in your dedicated period I'm gonna walk you through which Anki decks to use and like what Q bank etc so let's get started all right guys so in order to study properly and keep things retained we need something for spaced repetition like anki and we need something for active recall like a step two q bank in addition because you're still starting your rotations you need kind of a background uh, someone to walk you through it or touch on um, step two ck from videos or a review book so which Anki deck should you use during your rotations? Um, there is a very nice deck that is based on OME videos and a step up to medicine. Uh, there, it's called the Doc deck. I'm going to show you guys now. There is the Doc deck for internal medicine. There's one for OBGYN and they're very short. One of them is 1000. The other one is 2000 and something. This, this is one option and you can continue with the reviews of, of the cards all the way into your dedicated. Another option is if you start the Anking from the get-go and that's it. But the Anking has so many more cards and of course it's more comprehensive. But the Doc deck also received rave reviews and it's for the two most important subjects internal medicine OBGYN so you choose your thing that's regarding Anki I'm gonna show you guys now all right guys so I'm gonna show you the doc deck that I'm talking about there is one for internal medicine and you can see that it is only about 2890 cards and if I open one of these cards of internal medicine it looks like this so it's a closed deletion type very comfortable and there's one for OBGYN and this one is shorter it's about 1518 can very easily be finished during your rotations and then you can continue reviewing it during dedicated and again if I open one of them it's like very uh, comfortable again it's closed deletion type so this is one option Another option is to do the On King, and you can see here that the On King is so comprehensive. It includes the Lol Nata Cop, by the way, of Micro and Farm, in addition to Zanki for Step 2, plus Cheesy Dorian, of course, without the overlap. So this is probably the most comprehensive, and you can see that it is about 13,000 so you do you depending on how much time you have you can do either all right now for the q bank which one should you use it depends whether you are an img or an american medical student now for american medical students they have less time but for imgs uh, the clinical years are a little longer like we have more clinical years so if you are an IMG, you can experiment with AMBOSS for like a year and then switch to UWorld around your Step 2 CK time or around dedicated. If you are an American medical student, you can start doing UWorld during MS3 and then by like do it by rotation. So when you take internal medicine, you do the internal medicine questions of UWorld. If you take OBGYN, you do the corresponding questions of UWorld until you finish a first pass. And then around dedicated, you reset the Q bank and do it a second time. Uh, so that's for American medical students. Uh, now, regarding your which review book to use or videos, there is something called Online Medet and it's completely free. I'm going to show you guys now the website. Um, so, yeah, it's 
amazing if you wanna you know get a background of step 2 ck it's like an overview much like boards and beyond for step one so here guys i'm on the ome website called online method and you're gonna choose that you are an md student uh for step 2 ck and you're gonna get started with you can see here for clinical you got all the rotations right there have videos for them it's completely free so if i choose gynecology for instance i'm gonna find you know like 19 lessons all right so you have anatomy of physiology gynecology oncology reproductive endocrinology and then you're gonna click a video and yeah you're gonna watch it so it's completely free so I think this is an amazing, you know, um, supplement to your rotations to get an idea of what Step 2 CK is like in, a, in an easy way. Uh, if you need a review book to cross-reference during your rotations, you're doing your school material, but at the same time, you want a hint of what's high yield in Step 2 CK. So look up the reference book called Master the Boards. I'm gonna show you guys now, very succinct. So if you take your rotations, it's gonna be very detailed and it wouldn't waste much time if you just cross-reference what's in the book. So now I'm gonna show you guys the book called the Master the Boards for Step 2 CK. This is like a PDF version, but obviously you should buy the real book so first off this book is about 700 pages of the entire step 2 ck content you can see here that it has internal medicine preventive medicine dermatology surgery and all your rotations right there so let's take a look at how this book is set up you know as you can see it only shows you the important or the high yield topics all right and as you can see it's oriented in how the questions are so for example when it's showing you when the question tells you what is the most likely diagnosis you should look for these stuff which means these are the stuff you should highlight in the question and make sure guys you know that diagnosis and treatment are more important in step 2 ck than they are in step one in step one we were usually focusing on what's the diagnosis and that's it but in step 2 ck he needs the diagnostic test the next best step is whether is it an x-ray or is it an ultrasound or is it a ct scan or what investigation is it right and the next best step in treatment as well you know you're going to choose the mildest option first and then the more invasive so you are more like a clinician here in step 2 ck and they focus on this stuff i think they've done a good job here in master the boards with this they're showing you you know some uh, question points so as you can see for gi if we just go through the pages i've just finished gastroenterology in a few pages in like 60 pages and then you go through endocrinology as you can see this can serve as a succinct reference during your rotations if you wanna you know check what step 2 ck is looking for during your big rotation finally because you get tested in your shelves you have to do the nbme self-assessments for subject exams there is one on the website for subject exams that are not the same as the self-assessment for step 2 ck so i think you should do this as well by the end of your rotation all right guys so here i'm on the nbme website and you can see here if you click view self-assessments there is self-assessments for usmle and there are self-assessments for subject exams or clinical signs this is the one these are the ones you're going to click during your rotations for the shelf exam so here in the self-assessments for subject exams or clinical science, there's one for neurology, for emergency medicine, family medicine, like for each of your rotations, for OBGYN, for pediatrics, each one of them is one block only of 50 questions and 
with the explanations. So about one hour, 15 minutes. There's one for surgery, one for psychiatry. These are not the same as the self-assessments for step two CK, where you're gonna get it in this uh, tab, self-assessments for USMLE. You're gonna choose the comprehensive clinical medicine, uh, no, clinical science self-assessment. This is the one for step two CK. And here you got forms 9, 10, and 11. Each one of them is for $60. Now, moving on to dedicated period, you're going to drop the videos or review books. We got no time for that now. You're going to continue the Anki deck that you were using during your shelves. Just continue with the review cards, be it the doc deck or Anki, whatever you were comfortable with and you continue and finish your Q bank whatever it was so if you were doing emboss you're gonna start U world and then finish it if you were doing U world you're gonna do it a second time and probably repeat your incorrect so because U world is the single best resource for step 2 CK now, obviously, you have to do NBMEs. For step 2 CK, we only have three NBMEs, 9, 10, and 11. And each one of these is $60. So if your dedicated is like six weeks, you're going to take it every two weeks or something. Now, there is a new resource that just came out called the White Coat Companion by Dr. Ryan, who is the author or like um, who made boards and beyond now from what i've seen students talk about it is that you can use it as if it's first aid during your dedicated or if you want to look up something quickly someone said it's like a summary of all your core rotations put into organ system with the basic pathology diagnosis and treatment with the high yield info for most of the diseases tested in step two. So it's as if it's a, a bullet point of stuff when you already have a good foundation, if you already know your stuff, you know? So just for a quick cross-reference probably. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I uh, hope you guys like this video. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All the best.